I just want to drive the hell out of a tank. So, New Zealand Army Museum, here we come. It's a rainy day, and what is more cliche than going to a museum on a rainy day? So we drive up to the museum, we park, and then boom, here's what I'm seeing. Tank here, tank there, tank here, tank there, cannon, fireballs, or whatever all those things are called, and there's tanks everywhere. So I'm like, man, they have spare tanks. That probably means I can drive if you want. It's really cool, actually, to come to New Zealand and actually learn what the early New Zealand battles were like before the UK invaded New Zealand and just made the history all the same shit again. This first exhibition is really cool and I'm really enjoying it. It's about like what the Maori used, the weapons they used to use in battle. There's like, they just used to have these sticks and just batter each other to death. One thing I didn't realise with the Maori is they didn't just engage in massive battles like in European history, I guess, where people just were like, charge and bang, 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 like, it wasn't like that. They just took more of a one-on-one -on -one approach. They'd just get two people, battle it out, one dies, here's the next person, battle it out, which, you know, that makes sense. Why did everybody just have to mindlessly run at each other? and battle it out and it just yeah like what's the point so i think the maori you know they got it right they knew what they were doing they knew how to do battle just battery one-on-one -on -one battles clubbing each other to death and then at least that gives like room for everyone else to watch and enjoy the show there is display of all the other wars that new zealand have been involved in um you know, like Egypt and other countries. But obviously some of the main sections are World War One and World War Two. So everyone doesn't know that in the museum you don't touch. <laughs> it is impressive that a, a museum on a subject that I'm not necessarily interested in captivated me that much. But this one really grasped me and it's created for all generation that has ADD, you know, and it's like easy to jump from one place to another and the story is easy to follow and there's a lot of things to touch and to play with and I was like, really impressed by it. Is it like uh, joining the army, Robin? Uh, it's pretty good. For the uniform, there's only two sizes. Too big and too small. If it's too small, you shrink. If it's too big, you grow and you keep the line moving. The order of this museum really helps you understand the history as well. It's all in chronological order and it's all depicted with mannequins setting the scene. I just want to drive a tank. <laughs> is that too much you are? That's not a tank though, is it? We need to find a tank. This one's more of a world. If I were to be enrolled in the army, I would be forced into that uniform <laughs> or a clown battalion. As we head downstairs, we get to the World War II side of things, and there it is. Do not climb or attempt to enter this vehicle. It doesn't say don't drive it. It doesn't say Robin. <laughs> oh, there is a tank. <laughs> I want to get myself inside that said tank. But all I can see, all I can find is some big sign saying, please do not touch, do not climb, do not get inside. You are not a five years old child. The rest of the 
museum. We see the modern day things, the big tanks, the vehicles, the guns, and the last really cool section of the museum that I personally think is pretty, pretty cool is just this corridor of the evolution of weapons or the evolution of guns, but guns from all over the world. So you've got Japan, you've got Russia, the UK, New Zealand, Germany, France, you know, there's loads. And it's just crazy to see like where they started, what they used to look like, and then now they're just like these hardcore machines with a knife on the end that you use in Call of Duty to stab people when they come up to you. And then that is the what that is what uh, Robin That is, <laughs> that is the what? <laughs> Family name. <laughs> that is what? <laughs> that is the what? <laughs> oh, I leave me And that is what? And that is what? <laughs> I haven't thought about what <laughs> I haven't thought about what I'd say next. And that is what <laughs>